He's forced to break his oath right now. And strike his jaw. Because I don't think Snake is the type of person where it's it's like, you know... You're gonna fight him, Thorfinn? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stefan. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 16, Cause. The last episode, not a whole lot happened. The only big thing that happened is that Arnheide went to go see Garter, and they actually ended up breaking free. I'm not 100% sure if Arnheide was 100% with that plan. I feel like Garter just took her but they basically went missing and we left off with everybody on the lookout for them not 100% sure what their plan is is to go home or to find their son or if they're gonna get captured again interestingly that we haven't seen canoe or kettle yet I wonder when they're gonna arrive on the farm because so far in the series just when we're actually gonna like get to like the end of a little mini plot we pick up with another one like we were just about to see kettle and canoe go back to the farm and see what's gonna go down but then they pick up another plot and say like oh let's introduce garter to the city situation. So I never know what direction they're going to go in. So for this episode, it could either be about Canute and Kettle, or it could pick up where we left off and resume the hunt on Garter and Arnhide. If you guys are enjoying my Vinland Saga series of fire and you guys want to see all these uncut reactions early, make sure to check out my Patreon. The link will be in the description. Without further ado, it's going to be Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 16, Cause. Let's go. Hey everyone, just want to give a special thanks and a shout out to my Patreons for supporting me. Over on my Patreon, you'll gain early access to all of my uncut reactions on top of other perks. Check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. Hold on, Anar! Stop for a second! Anar! If Garner has escaped, he definitely searched for Arnheit again. He's with her. So you're going to her? Then what? Yeah, they don't know Are that she. Send Garner away, huh? She went after him. I don't know, Thorfinn. I don't know. But still, there must be something I can do for Arnheit. There's gotta be. bunch of dead bodies. Oh, I thought he was going to find a bunch of dead bodies that uh, Garter killed. That Arnold? Is that her? I think that's her. Who else would it be? It is her. Where's Garter? She was last seen with him. Or er, from what I remember. No, it's not him. Don't worry, it's not Garter. Only the two slaves. Hmm. They're using. Oh, I completely forgot. What are their names? They're using her. Oh, yeah. Don't they work for the master? To get to Garter. Okay, you mean so. Thorfinn and Einar? Yeah, those guys. Okay, so I guess what Garter's not with here? her. I thought she took her. What should we do, Snake? Or he took her. Drive them away? No, no. Ignore them. Just let those two do what they want. But yeah, I thought he took her. He broke free from the things and he took her. That's what I thought. I guess not. You're asking about Garter, right? You know what happened? I do. I was the one who let him get away. I cut his ropes. So she cut it. Ah, okay. Garter killed the guard. So I thought... We were both going to die. I guess you can say Garter's an anti-villain. Or not an anti-villain, but anti-hero, I guess you would say. Einar, we're being watched by guests. <laughs> Let's pretend we're helping Arnheit wash the dishes and get True. closer to her. Because, yeah, I think, what, isn't an anti-hero someone who does bad things for the right reasons, I think? Please, calmly tell us. Or is it an anti-villain? One of them. Hide. I think that's what Garter kind of is. Well, well, Garter was wounded during the battle. It was raining, so we were able to get away. We fled to the old master's house. Oh, then so she did live with he them. Lost consciousness. That's what I, I thought. Was treating his wounds. That's exactly what I thought. So he got away he after heavy, this. So I had to drag him, but I. 
I managed to find somewhere close by to hide him. So Garter is here, on the farm right now? Yes. Ah. Luckily, the old master helped me out. And then Snake and his men showed up right after that. They think he ran away and is hiding somewhere. I don't know how long it will be before they find out the truth. Or is he hidden? Snake and two of his men are waiting in the main house right now for Garter to show up. Yeah. So they can kill him. So they can kill him. Mm -hmm. Where is he on the farm? I'm assuming he's pretty well hidden if they haven't found him yet. Why would you do that? When you were alone, you said you'd wait for the storm to pass for the baby in the womb. Oh, I keep forgetting she's pregnant. <laughs> Why? And I'm assuming Garter still doesn't know. It's not the same, it's a broken now spirit. They're... Jeez. How pathetic. Even at the cost of losing Kielty, we both lived on miserably. And even then, I'm still, I'm still just I love how they're just watching her cry. <laughs> how are Garter's wounds doing? Did you stop the bleeding at all? Don't talk so loud. Oh, he could be dead if she didn't treat him very well. His right arm. It was bleeding heavily. And also his chest. It still hadn't stopped when I left him. Yeah, he could have bled out and died. It's a race against time then. Okay, maybe he's not dead yet. But, yeah. Arnhard. Are you prepared to share your fate with Garda? If you choose to live your life with Garter, escaping is your only choice. But since you're pregnant, be careful. The journey will be a long and difficult one. If you still want that for yourself, I promise I'll help you. Okay. Uh, uh, and she's gonna have no to- There's no other way at this point, honestly. She's gonna have to do it now, before she gets really pregnant. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to do that shit when you're in the third trimester. So then, that's the only way, huh? Are they all gonna escape? All four of them? I'll help too. With both of us, we can plan and ensure you get to safety. Ooh, okay. Thorfinn. So they're, I'm assuming all four of them are going to try to escape Kettle's farm. Okay, so I wonder what their game plan is. Don't you feel sorry for Arnheid and Garter? Well, don't you, Snake? There are some who say that slaves only become slaves if they are naturally inclined to do so because they are inferior, that they're just the right ones for the job. 
But not me. I don't believe that to be true. Those who became slaves didn't have any luck. And that's all there is to it in the end. You know, if you and I didn't have any luck, then we could have been slaves as well. Yeah, so what about it? That's got nothing to do with this. I had five of my men killed by him. So I won't stop until I strike him down. I can see where Snake is coming from, to be honest. Like, five men is a lot. I that go after my men were killed. Then how can I go on carrying a sword? I get po both and point of views. Why choose to drop the sword? Ooh. Huh? Some wise that words. Sword. I can tell that it wasn't forged from this part of the world. My guess is you must have ended up on this farm for some reason as well, hmm? But without abandoning your sword, won't the seeds of calamity continue to sprout? Hey, old man, you can shut up now. Isn't it time for old folks to take a nap? Jesus. Doesn't want to hear it. What if I told you that I would give you my farm? Ooh. You will cultivate the soil and nurture these fields to life. Give him a different life that other than what he's had now. Swinging your sword. Exactly. Give him a uh, life with purpose except for just I won't be able to stand what he has now. around anymore. And I will die soon. It'll be a good opportunity for you to try and become a respectable person as well. Become someone else. Choose a different path. You know I owe you. For all those times that you have sat and read the Bible to me. And saved him in the fields when he almost died. Nah. Cut all that sentimental crap out. Now's mm -hmm. not the time for it. I'll never work on the farm. Snake. I don't know about that. Huh? I think I see somebody. Because I feel like Snake has the potential to be a good guy. Right he there. just is stubborn. Check out the third tree from the right. Behind it. That's uh... got to be him. No, that's Anar. That's what I was saying. Anar right, and Garter look very similar. It's just hair that's different. Like, Garter's hair is longer. Yeah, piling on to what I'm talking about with Snake, this motherfucker is stubborn. And I know in previous episodes I said he's a dick. Don't get me wrong, he is. But I feel like it's to a point where he just can't trust anything good. So because of that, we see this side of him. He was just offered a chance to change his life around and like, you know, leave all of this like, you know, I don't want to say like anger because I don't think it's that like all this like negative shit behind him and start a new life with like you know purpose and full of like you know actual like good you know and his response is to tell the old man to shut up I just feel like snake is just hung up on all of his old ways that to change it's gonna take some pushing in time but on top of that Anar and Thorfinn are helping Arnhide escape with Garter I'm still surprised that they haven't found him on the farm because if he's on the farm she did a really good job at hiding him but I wonder what their plan is to escape since Anar and Thorfinn are helping them I wonder if all four of them are gonna somehow leave the farm and escape. Cause I think we only have like six or five episodes left of the season. So we're wrapping up the season pretty quickly. So let's see what their plan is to escape. That would terrify the fuck out of me. Oh my God, those bugs are huge. Hell no, I can't do, I can't deal with insects. Any sort of creepy crawly or insects? That's all of them. It's up to you now, Anar. <laughs> okay, so he's leading all of them away from the hut, so I'm assuming he's gonna grab uh, Arnhide and Garter out. and just run. From all different sides and, positions. and somehow anar has gotta lose them. Old Master, I'm sorry. We're borrowing your horse and wagon. But I promise I will repay you with my labor. Don't worry about such a petty thing. In any case, set me on the wagon as well. Oh. As long as I'm there riding with them, then nobody on the farm will be suspicious. No, I can't. He's helping. That would get you involved in the situation. I know. He's pretty I powerful. Was already involved a long time ago. Yeah, he's pretty powerful now on the just on stop the farm. arguing and give me a hand, Thorfinn. He's the uh, master's father. Right. He's okay. like. Thank you, old master. 
Okay, Nara, let's see what you got. Damn it! Carter, that bastard! He's trying to run into the forest! We won't be able to ride the horses in that forest! Oh! Get down, go on, quick! Don't let him escape! So all, all he has to do is make it to the forest, and then he wins, basically. Damn it! It's so far! You got it. Step on it. Step on it for the next 30 seconds, and you got it. Wow! He was right there! The entire fucking time! She did a good job treating him. Hoo He's cold as stone, though. And he's lost too much blood. That's smart. Holy shit. Carter, you have to hang in there. Yeah, what do you do in, in back in the day? Like, if you lose a lot of blood, I don't think there's any it's such fast. thing as blood transfusions back then. There's no way a severely wounded man can run that fast. Ooh, so that means... Snake is figuring it out. Hey, Badger! Spider! Keep chasing after him! But don't get too close! If that isn't Fat Garter, then you both won't stand a chance against him! I'll send reinforcements! So make sure Is he you turning don't back? Until then. You understand? Oh shit. I'm counting on you. Oh shit, wait, they gotta wait, hurry. Wait, wait, Snake! Where are you going? Oh fuck. They gotta hurry, hurry, Wagon like now. Ready. Let's hurry and head for the southern border. Just put a like a cover over him. If we get out of the country, Damn. the guests will have a harder time tracking us. I'll split off along the way, create a diversion, and lead the pursuers away as much as possible. Thorfinn's strong. <laughs> Old master, stay with us until we're at the edge of the farm. Just c cover his face. Mm. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Damn, yeah, he is strong. I mean, Thorfinn's only, what, like 5'2"? And the motherfucker's holding like a grown-ass man that probably weighs over 200 pounds. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, get going. Hurry up, cover his face. Oh shit. How did you not see him when you got off the thing? Is Dorfin gonna fight Snake? Coming. He left his horse and ran here? That's weird. see now so it seems he's not conscious no wonder I couldn't sense him snake is smart I'll give him that but are we gonna get a showdown between Thorfinn and snake don't. now Oh I'll shit. Tell you this, Thorfinn. There's no room for negotiation. Because he's seen what Thorfinn can do a little bit. Just give me Garter right now. If you don't, I'll kill you. Good luck with that. Honestly, good luck with that. Thorfinn may not Oh, he has to break his vow. There are three pursuers total. I just realized Snake that. Snake is the only one here. I don't sense the others. He has to break his oath. If I can hold him off somehow, then we still have a chance to escape. Oh shit. He's forced to break his, his oath right now. And strike his jaw. Because I don't think Snake is the type of person where it's it's like, you know... You're gonna fight him, Thorfinn? Well, I mean, looks like the situation calls for it. Bad. You're simply helping somebody out. And that means you got a good reason to fight. He has to break his but, oath. Oh shit. Of course. He probably has a good reason why he's about to fight you, too. What will you do, Thorfinn? Will you stick with your non-violent intentions? Or will you cave into your old habits and fight him to help someone else out? Because I don't think Snake is the type of opponent where, like, you just win against Which him. Which is the path for you to become a true warrior. I think Snake is the type of person There's you no either have to, to kill him in order to win. Look, right in front of you. So there's no, like, knocking him out. You have to kill Snake in order to win. Oh, I guess not. Thorfinn still has it, man. He's still very agile. But I think Snake is, too. 
I think sta snake is a bit more strength. And we're leaving off with here. And there we go. You can beat this opponent oh, in your sleep, right? Keeps going. <laughs> it just keeps going. Okay, never mind. Because I know we're getting close to the end of this episode. So I don't think we'll see this full fight. Stance. Is it the same stance with the it's not for a spear or an axe with the two knives? Sword? It's like this, right? Like he has it like no. this. Exactly. The two knives sticking out. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have the blades though. I I wonder what happened to his father's dagger. I wonder if Ravy's gonna see that again. I wonder if Canute has it. Alrighty. Alright, and that was Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 16. Alrighty, so we are leaving off between a duel between Snake and Thorfinn. And Thorfinn is being forced to break his oath of non-violence in order to save Garter and Arnhide. Einar at the moment is literally running for his fucking life, but honestly, that was so fucking smart of Arnhide to hide him under the master's bed. I was thinking to myself, he's not in any barn. I doubt he would be too far away for them to like, you know, know. Cause I'm assuming he had to stick somewhat close by in order for her to care for him. But I honestly did not know that he was underneath the fucking bed. But like I said, gotta give props to Snake, man. He's fucking smart. He figured it out. He can put two and two together and that's very rare to find in like characters in anime. But again, we are leaving off with a fight between Thorfinn and Snake. And something tells me, I, you know, I at least hope, Thorfinn's gonna win, but I feel like it's not gonna be an easy fight. I feel like he's gonna have like a moral crisis in the middle of the fight, just about when he's like, you know, about to lose against Snake or something. He's gonna have like a moral crisis or like, you know, an epic crisis in his head. And then he'll snap out of it and trigger that like 15 year old Thorfinn that we know that is not afraid of killing and win the fight. But until next time, if you guys are enjoying my Vinland Saga series so far and you guys wanna see all these uncut reactions early, make sure to check out my Patreon, the link will be in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future reactions. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.